Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back here today for another game review. And today, I'm very excited to check out The Simpsons Don't Panic from Rosart. This is for two to four players. Age is eight plus. It'll take you about, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes to play. And in The Simpsons Don't Panic, this is a fast and frantic game where you're going to have 60 seconds on your turn and you're going to be moving your piece around the board as fast as you can, doing actions, putting together a puzzle, doing stunts, saying silly things, doing all sorts of weird stuff like that in The Simpsons universe. It's light. It's simple. It's made by Rosart, who normally puts out absolute garbage. But is it good? Let's open it up, and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of the Simpsons Don't Panic. So first and foremost, we have a handy dandy rule set. This is all you're going to need to learn the game. And on the back, it's just going to go over the different components and the different cards that you will interact with in different spaces on the board. Overall, it's a very well done rule booklet. Should have you up and running in no time at all, so thumbs up on the rule booklet. In The Simpsons Don't Panic, this is a quick speed game in which you are going to have 60 seconds in order to take your turn. On your turn, you're going to be moving your nuclear waste barrel around the different spaces, drawing cards, doing things that say on the cards, with the end goal of getting every single color of these little doodads here. Be the first person to collect all six colors of these things stick things you'll win the game what am i talking about let's go over the components let's get into the gameplay so first you got this cool little thing you construct here in the center uh this part right here is actually a two-part piece and then you put the timer into it and then you slide it into this plastic piece which goes in the center of it it actually looks really stinking cool next you're going to get your nuclear barrels they are your your player pieces you're going to have a whole bunch of stuff over here which you'll be using to do what are called i think tricks um, uh, stunts, that's what they're called, stunts, and we'll get into those a little bit later. Next, you're going to have different spots around the board. Each time you land on one of these spots, you're going to have to pull that particular card. You might have to do a puzzle if you land on the puzzle spot, or you might have to uh, make some noises when you go to the make some noise spots, or go for it, or do different things. Let's just actually show you the game in in, let's just play around in the game and you'll quickly understand what's going on. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to set a timer to 60 seconds. And then you're going to roll the dice. And you can go either direction you want. So I can go three spaces. So I'll go one, two, three, and I get to pull a stunt. So pull a stunt. And this time I have to spin the rod. So when you spin the rod, you have to do the stunt. And I have to continue to do this while I'm taking my turn. And if it ever stops then uh, the, the stunt is over. My turn is over, I should say. So now, oh, I already rolled a six, so keep spinning the rod. So, oh, this rod stopped, so that's the end of my turn. But I did end up pulling a stick, so that would be cool. So then let's pretend it's my next turn. So reset the timer back to 60 seconds and go. So I got another six, I go one, two, three, four, five, six. This time I get the turn thing, which means that I have to turn the center. So you just kind of shoop, and you can turn it whichever direction you want. So I'll turn that right there. So roll the dice again. Not that it's going to matter. But I get to the time is money spot. Whenever you get to the time is money spot, which is spread around the board, you're going to reset your timer back to 60 seconds. And I also get this because I landed there. Then we got a one. So time is money. You're starting to see one of the problems of the game. I got to restart it back to 60 seconds. A five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, spin the turn thing, so I will spin it this way because I obviously I want to not get purple or red because I already have purple and red. So uh, roll the dice, go for it. So let's grab a go for it card. All right, lie down for a while. So then at this point I would lie down for a while. I would actually physically lie down for it, or I would take off your shoes and socks, or I would act like a monkey, or I would. Flex your muscles, balance something on your head, frown at each other, uh, frown at all the other players. Various different silly stuff that you'll be doing. But then I would get this token right here, and then I'd spin the wheel. I'm trying to get to the thing that gives me more time. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I'll just go one, two, three, four, five. Go for it! So I do get another thing that was silly, and then I'd roll the dice again. Well, let's just talk about some of the other spaces, because I think you get an idea. Eventually, when the timer runs out, or in this case, if the rod stops spinning, your turn will be over. But here we have pull a stunt. So, toss and catch the ball four times. Toss and catch the ball three times. Balance the gears, two of the gears. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Shut up. 
uh, spin the top, spin the rod, various different stuff like that. Over here we got the green one, which is make some noise. So name three body parts, say something that makes one other per layer laugh, uh, make up a sentence about Bart without using the letter E, uh, make someone name the same, uh, name someone with the same initials as Marge Simpson, and they are double-sided, so you're going to have a good variety. The last spot you're going to have is the puzzle, where you have to put together puzzles, and those are the different puzzles you'll be putting together. We keep them all in the box, but they're a little double-sided piece, it's a four-piece little puzzle you'll be doing. Eventually, someone is going to get all six of the sticks. If you're the first person to get all six of the sticks, then hooray, you win the game. And that in a nutshell is what you're going to do inside The Simpsons. Don't panic. All right, then, The Simpsons. Don't panic from Rose Art. What are my final thoughts? Let's go with the pros. Let's go with the cons. First, on the pro side, the game looks really stinking cool. It's got the, uh, the nuclear power plant in the center, which is really neat. The components are very nice. It's got uh, double-sided cards on most of them, so when you, uh, when you have to make a noise or go for it there is a good variety of stuff i mean granted after about the third or fourth game you're going to start seeing stuff that you've already seen before but you know they at least tried there also there is a decent variety of things that you have to do with the uh the puzzles and the stunts and that the, there's four i guess that's a decent variety um based on the simpsons simpsons is great we all love the simpsons right uh, it does have some funny moments from here to there, and um, I got I got nothing I got nothing else for you. Simpsons don't panic is garbage. It's bad. It's bad. 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 Bad game. And there's a lot of different reasons why it's a bad game, but the biggest reason why is the fact that you can win on your first turn. I mean that that's that's a problem, and I did I did it once. And I almost did it twice. I had one, one of the times that we played, I had to use two turns in order to do it. But one of the times I played, I won on the first turn. Another time we played, a kid won on the first turn. It was like a 10-year-old kid. He's like, what? I won? It's like, yep, that's the game. We're over. The other people that didn't get a go, too bad. Hope you had fun watching him do stuff. And that... It's the biggest problem with this game. So let's let's just start with the small cons, work our way up to the big cons. So first and foremost, two to four players aren't restricted player count. Granted, you wouldn't want a bigger player count because people can win on the first turn, and if the first person wins, then you don't actually get a turn. That's that's a problem. Also, it's one of those games that's gonna force you to do silly things. It's a game that tries to create humor by putting you in artificial situations like, oh, pretend like you're a monkey, or jump on the table, or do this, make somebody laugh. And some people are not going to like those style of games. I don't mind them, but some people are not going to like those style of games. Also, it doesn't use the Simpsons license that well. This could have been just a generic license. It really could have. It didn't need to be the Simpsons. I mean, the only real way that you know the Simpsons is because, hey, it's got Simpsons artwork. And hey, it mentioned Marge Simpson. And hey, it's got the nuclear barrels and I see the Simpson-y stuff. But really, this is just, the Simpsons is just slapped onto this. You don't get a Simpsons feel for this game. You don't get Simpsons flavor from this game. And that is a big disappointment. Um, any other cons I have the game? Oh, oh, some of the challenges are really, really stinking hard. Some of the challenges are really, really stinking easy. And which one you get will really determine how long your turn is going to be. If you get the simple one where it's like, hey, throw the ball three times and catch it, you're like, okay. And then you might get the one where it's like, spin the rod and make sure the rod does not stop spinning. If the rod stops spinning, then your turn's over. And it's like, what? Th those are two drastically different difficulty levels. Uh, likewise, it's like, hey, put two gears and make them stack up. Oh, okay, that's not hard at all. Use all four gears and stack all four gears. I'd be like, what? That's really hard. And uh, it's... Uh, bleh, bleh. Continuing on with the cons, the, the time is money space. That is just the worst idea ever. Ever, ever. Because there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five different spots on the board where you can essentially reset your timer. And if you're smart and if you played strategy games, you'd be like, well, I want to go to that spot as frequently as possible so I can prolong my turn. Duh. 
And the fact is, you roll the dice and you get to decide where you go. So it's like, all right, one, two, three, I can do a puzzle here. Or one, two, three, I can reset my timer there. Which way am I going to go? Pretty obvious. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a bad game. It's badly designed. It doesn't use its greatest asset that well, which is the Simpsons license. It has great components. It looks really cool. But deep down, it's an incredibly shallow game that can be won in like three minutes. Like literally, we played a game where I went first and I won in under three minutes. And that's not fun for anybody. Like it's not fun for the kids playing with me. It's not fun for me because I'm like, oh, um... Well, you want to play this again, but then this time someone else can go first? Because there are games. There are other games out there, especially push your luck games, where someone can win in one turn. But if they do that, normally it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, you won in one turn. It's like the kind of thing that you talk about for years to come. Like, oh my gosh, he just kept pushing his luck and kept pushing his luck and kept pushing his luck and he won the whole game. And it's not like that in this game. It's like, oh, uh, if, you, if you plan things out and you don't get bad stunt cards, you probably should win this in one turn. It's it's just it's just crap. It's just crap. Rose Art, you suck. You suck at making games. Why do you make games, Rose Art? I hate your guts. And I hope someone from Rose Art one day watches this video. And I'm talking to you. You suck at making games. Why do you green light crap like this? And it's, I know this is an old game, but you still make crap like this. And you know you still make crap like this. Mm. Guess your name is Patrick. Hate you, Patrick. Stop making crap like this so I can stop reviewing crap like this. You get the Simpsons license and you wasted it, Patrick. You wasted the Simpsons license. And now, good companies that could have used the Simpsons license and actually made a great game with it don't get the opportunity to because you wasted it on stuff like this, Patrick. And this is why your dad left. This is why your dad left, Patrick. I love you, Patrick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I, you're a human being, and I, I need to be more compassionate to you. But seriously, can we stop it with games like this? Well, I went off the rails there. If you enjoyed this review, please should click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know what's the biggest trouble you've been in in your entire life. The biggest trouble. Like the one where you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um... I got arrested once for operating while intoxicated, so that one definitely was the biggest trouble. But I know there's been other instances where it's like, oh my god, if I get caught, I am going to go to jail. I think it was probably when I was, I think it was 18. I had already, I turned 18 because I graduated in, I turned 18 before I got out of high school. So I was 18, and what we used to do around this trailer park that I lived is we used to set fires. We used to, not, not like to people's houses or anything like that, but we'd set up big fires. We'd steal people's cans of gasoline. We'd steal trash cans on Sunday, set giant trash cans on fire, and then just, you know, we'd find mops. We'd dip mops, because let me tell you, you dip a mop in gasoline and then light the end, that thing just lights forever. It's like having, like, this really cool flaming thing. And I remember once uh, we, we accidentally set a shed on fire. Uh, I think that might have actually... I don't remember. We used to drink a lot of wine. You know what? It was just, just being an arson. Just being an arson when I was over the age of 18. When I was under the age of 18, I didn't worry about it because I was like, eh, what do you do? Send me to juvie? I don't care. Go to Wood Youth Center. That's my local juvie. Whatevs. Uh, but once I turned 18 and the, the cops got called and I, was, and I was actually remember running once through the woods away from the cops because we'd set two trash cans on fire right next to each other and the cops had come out and the fire department had come out because... The people that lived in the trailer park where I lived were obviously fed up with it because this had been like the sixth trash can we've set on fire, and uh, they were they were they were not happy. Needless to say, so um, yeah, I remember still when the police came and I was running through the woods and I just tore my knees up. So that was the one where I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm 18, I could go to jail for this. This is this is bad. And then I kind of you know stopped setting stuff on fire. And to this day, I have not set any trash cans on fire. So go me. Life lesson learned. Let me know in the comments below. What's the biggest trouble you've been in? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.